So let's break up to three, the next on Monday, you get three, three introduction session. Three introduction sessions. Okay, so that means, the, and they're like anywhere between uh, uh, 10 to uh, 15 minute session. Okay, so that's quite manageable, thank you. So 10 to, sorry, so one 10 to 15 minute session? You're going to do three sessions. Uh, Each session is at 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes each. Yeah. Okay. The goal and objective of each session mm -hmm. is to mainly outline the different topics of the session. Okay. For example, the first session will be how to create your own fundraiser online using, let's say, uh, GoFundMe or whatever options that you may have. Okay. Okay. So you're going to give a brief introduction on how to do that to the children. So that way, is more of an outline rather okay. than a deep dive. Okay. So we can sample some of those things that you're teaching in the outline. Mm -hmm. It's kind of one way you're sharing it to the class, but another way is presenting your portfolio of what you know about creating a fund, GoFundMe. Okay. Yeah. There's some other one I forget what they are, um, but like yeah. another fundraising yeah. campaign yeah. website. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We used Indiegogo in the past, but I think they cut quite a lot. Yeah. Out of the um. So you the like people. I said, because it's a general outline, you're gonna need, mm -hmm. to, and you only have ten to fifteen minutes to present it you have to be very precise with your communication. Mm. Okay. And yeah. because technically you're not just teaching the children, but you are pitching your portfolio. Ah, okay. Pretend you, pretend you have 10 mm -hmm. or 15 minutes to talk to a big corporation and you have to convince me in 10 or 15 minutes, you know how to create a fundraising account. Uh, uh, campaign. Uh, campaign. Okay, but I'll probably look um into GoFundMe then. Yeah, I think you know. Uh, I think there's a lot of video out there that talks about the different fundraising technology. Mm -hmm. You know, you should Google that up and 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 give why, and then you can focus on GoFundMe because that's something that you know. Right. And it's something that you can screen capture to teach the children later. Later on, like um, Online. later on down the road. Okay. Well, just you, you know, you meet this time, but maybe you can do uh, many other session to the children online. Okay. You know, we have a WhatsApp where they're learning all their. I'm going to add you to the WhatsApp. Uh, you know, this is where they. They learn a lot of the our media is through the WhatsApp, and they share okay. the animation through WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's one session that you focus on in a fifteen minute outline. You may mm -hmm. want in your 10, 15 minute outline to focus on one demo. Okay, so like just to give give like a quick overview of what the GoFundMe page will look like once it's set up and stuff like that? It could be that, or it could be like insider tips on what are the important things that a fundraising campaign must have. Because the technology, I think, will be very easy to do, and we can do it offline. But since yeah. you're pitching to a client, like I said, mm -hmm. you have to think of this as a pitch to a client. Yeah, it, because the children will get it in the process. Mm. Okay, the children will get yep. it in the process, but 
the pitch is for you to have 10 minutes to convince to me who is your prospect customer or corporation or a partner or maybe even funder, right? Mm. They might say, hell, you're doing this for children and this is going to help promote, you know, uh, uh, the children's technology program. This is going to promote them building a school. This is going to promote uh, them building a farming community. You know, these are all the different things that, you know, they may want to do. And you can help do that. Me as a big corporation through CSR, I'll fund you. Fine. You go yeah. do it. Keep training those kids. Get them to fundraise. You know? And if you do it under our blanket or our umbrella, then it's, you know, they say it promotes Wow Bali. It's great. We'll fund you. You know what I mean? Mm. So the goal is to use that 10 or 15 minutes to focus on that type of dynamics. Okay. Follow me? Make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second thing uh, that I think in the 10 or 15 minute, besides, like I say, the tip, and like I said, that tip is not a technology tip because we can teach that in the process. That tip could be a marketing strategy. That tip mm. could be a, uh, um, uh, you know, more on strategy, philosophy, more on your I used to call it your secret sauce. Mm. You know, yeah. this is very easy also to find online that say, okay, what is my secret sauce? What is the secret sauce of a promotional campaign? You know, mm. of, of a fundraising campaign. You know, uh, mm -hmm. if you can prepare something, you and I can go through it together. I really think you should try to meet up on that Friday as well. Because like I said, Monday is a good day, but I feel like Monday and the 28th will be good for the both of us. I think you okay. need two days. And then you still yeah. have, yeah, you still have the weekend on to do what you need to do. Okay? Yeah. Okay. I'll hope the, I hope the weather will cooperate. Yeah, don't worry. Okay. Whatever it is, you know, I will... You know, to do this right, we'll we'll send you a go 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 car, or I'll come and pick you up, or whatever. Doesn't matter. You okay. know, like I said, uh, and I, I'm open to picking you up on Thursday, and you hanging out up here, and hanging out with your girlfriend, or you can stay here downstairs in a room, but just get out and then do a good Friday, and then send you off. Okay. Thank you so much for the offer. Yeah, I'll consider that for sure. Yeah, thank yeah, you. So don't, don't worry about the weather. We'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this campaign will help you do that. And like I said, you know, very important that you remember it's a 10 or 15 minute frame to pitch what is the best strategy for a fundraising campaign and how do you go about it outlining the different technology that they will need to learn, outlining the process that they will be learning. Mm. You can teach you later on on an online course or off, you know, not face-to-face, -face, but you must nail a, like I said, the secret sauce, you know, the strategy plan, the philosophy. And I think that's, that's very important. Mm. Okay, so that's yeah. one. The second one, besides that, is you know uh, some form of fundraise, uh, some form of um, we talked about a fundraising, and then we also talked about a uh, some kind of how to promote using social media. Mm -hmm. So that one, I think you already kind of semi did before. You sent to us, but now yeah. you're going to clean that up and bring it to class. And, and and what you want to get the most about this class is not only do your outline and do your sample presentation and, and, and nail the pitch, but to also interact with the children. Mm. 
get feedback from them. Okay, so is this not a one-way conversation? It's a two-way dialogue. Okay. You, you want to see, you know, what the children are thinking. Mm -hmm. You know, what are their hard questions? Because, you, like I said, the more, like, if you look at the end goal, the end goal of this is, one, is to get someone to fund you doing this. Mm-hmm wherever you're at in the world. Right. Okay, that's that's one level. That's that's the highest. That's what we're going for. We're going mm -hmm. for the funding for you to continue to work with kids teaching these type of stuff. Okay. Two is to get projects out of it. Right? Hey, I also, you know, if you have, mm -hmm. you know, uh, a project that you need fundraising, I'm your person. Right? And mm -hmm. and to me, uh, thirdly, out of this, uh, and it's, like you said, and I say thirdly, but it's, to me, it's an ecosystem, you know? is the thirdly is to make sure the children get certain amount of information and prepare them for a process that you're going to teach them uh, Let's, you know, like to me, it's like a crash course, which is like an about you know about eight hours of training, right? Okay, or or yeah, you know, a solid four hours of training curriculum program. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, eight hour day um, pro. So later on, you can also do one day camp. Sorry, one second. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, there someone was delivering a package. Mm -hmm. Sorry, what were you saying? Yeah, so, you know, the third is to pass on information and define a, a one-day program, right? Eight hour mm -hmm. program crash course, right? That later on you can do as workshop anywhere on the side. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those three things, like I said, it's you know, are the objective of the uh, the objective of, of our our collaboration with the student you know, on those two days. And you have two sessions that we know of, the, the, the fundraising and mm -hmm. the other one is the social media, you know, promoting social media. There was one more that I was talking to you about, but I'm still trying to figure out how that will work. And, mm -hmm. and of course, both of your program, we will integrate with our WOW dynamic on how to connect it from a social emotional learning, okay? So, but you don't need to worry about that. I will uh, integrate that into your program uh, as we see fit. But there was a third one that I thought uh, was, I think, very uh, important. It's about the different media type of communication. Mm -hmm. Like when you use social media, when do you post text? When do you post visual? When do you post video? how long the video, so it's more on media content rather right. than strategy or the philosophy. I think mm -hmm. that's also very good for your portfolio so they know that you can create content. Mm -hmm. and, and and when you did last time when you shared with me, not only can you create content, but you can create a uh, system of, uh, you know, information system for moving content such as product and service and, you know, uh, if, I, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, that's what you did for the, 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 the uh, your last project that you told me about. Okay, you're back. Uh, yeah. 
Did you hear what I said? Um, uh, no, it, you so froze. From a con the third uh, module, if, you, if we have time, uh, mm -hmm. is talking about content, the different content that you can create when you create text, when you use text, when you use visual, when you use video, all right? And, mm -hmm. and any of those kinds of strategies, because to us, uh, well, for one level is to teach the children on how to the different media type, but for you to show to your portfolio that you also know how to create content mm -hmm. and that you know how to use content. And if you don't know that, then it's okay. That, like I said, it's a third module. But one of the things that really strike me uh, that you said is not besides content is that once you start moving, understanding the dynamics of content and how to use content is how do we create information system, which is the flow of these content. That's what you did with your last project that you were sharing with me. It's like, how does the information get flow so that way people can create inventory and be able to move the inventory? Because that gets to a level when you know your content very well. Mm. If you don't know about content creation and content uh, uh, making, then that that that's like another that's that's you're blind to that. But once you start moving information and you're saying, okay, this is what I'm giving you, this is what I'm doing. So visually different media types. Then I need to say, okay, how did that information flow? And that's how you know information system work, right? Information system work is saying, okay. I know what I need to fl what information I need to flow. So how do I f make that information flow? And that's where a lot of people need help in. Mm. How do we move? You know, okay, we know you know how to promote. Uh, oh, or or the third or another one, and I'm brainstorming right now is event. Right, we talk about how to promote an event. Mm-hmm. That might be easier and within the context of fundraising, event uh, 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 promotion, fundraising, event promotion. And the third one is, well, the third one is the same as event promotion, but you're promoting using social media, right? Right. Yeah. Those are, those are the three or the four that I see that is dynamic that you can use, that you can create. So... Those are the three main um, modules, I guess. Like three main module, they're fifteen minute module, or you know, ten to fifteen minute per module. Okay. So when I go into the classroom, first I'm just gonna quickly like give a breakdown just to make sure that um, we're on the same page. Uh, so the first module, I'll be. Um, teaching them or giving an outline of what um, fundraising is basically and the different options that they've got. Um, and um, I might just quickly look into GoFundMe just because that's the one that I'm most familiar with. And then from there. Yeah, here, I'm gonna share screen and I'm gonna show you an example, okay? Let mm -hmm. me see if you... Uh... So, you know, like if you look up, uh, you know, fun, how to do fundraising campaign. Mm -hmm. Online. Okay, so there, you know, there's pitch book for fundraising, right? Mm -hmm. uh, free fundraising site. But like I said, there's, you know, there's a lot out there, you know, and run a success. Okay, they, they, there's stuff out there already, you know, that can help mm -hmm. you give you outline. You see? All right. So to me, uh, because they're 10 or 15 minute campaign mm -hmm. or module, like I said, you, you just want to give the outline because 
and you want to be able to focus on the different outline. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, to, you know, like I said, you know, how to promote an event using social media. Like I said, there, there's stuff out there already. You see, you know, six ways to do it, right? Mm -hmm. The goal is for you to establish the different pillars or the different understandings, you know, um, you know, 20 ways to promote, you know, is to nail these things that are important for you to pitch that you are the expert on this. Because the information in 10 to 15 minutes is very general for children. Yeah. They won't understand it until we go through the process with them. Mm. But I need you to nail it on a, on a video pitch, a documented video pitch for me. So that way we can go get you sponsors to do this pro program full out full on and remote. So that way I can get, you know, uh, uh, a different sponsorship for you to do this for us long-term. Mm. Or two, get you project to say, yeah, hey, can you come and do this for us? You know, I'm a business and I need you to promote our event. I'm a business and I need you to Teach us how to use social media to promote. You know, I'm an organization and I need you to help us fundraise uh, uh, and train our fundraising team. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I, like I said, that's what you're doing. Don't spend too much time getting it from your skills, but go to, you know, Google what are some of the top ones and then do better than them. Mm. I like better than them because that's, that's what's going to get you. That's what's going to attract people to you. And what more than anything, what's going to attract people to you is that they see that you are, helping youth do this. Mm. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's professionals. And then there's professionals who are doing stuff to help other organization on the side. Those guys are next level. Those are like the, the CEO of some of the top companies service company and they're like okay you know what we we already doing that now now we're going we're going into do social work and helping the social community you, you follow him you follow what i'm talking about mm -hmm. okay yeah i think that's i think that's a i think that's that's the gist of it uh unless you have something else that you want to share uh no i think um i think those are um those were the ones that i suggested a long time ago okay um and um oh what was i gonna ask oh yeah so um there will be a projector over there i'm assuming we will have a projector for you okay so i'll just bring my laptop and i'll probably use like pre presentation Okay. The standard. Um, and remember, you got 15 minutes mm -hmm. and you have to speak in English and it's going to be translated yeah. to Indonesian. So the stats, yeah, that was another question that I had. Does the 10 to 15 minutes include the English and Indonesian translation or just my full session first and then Give or take, yeah. I'll, I'll give you, like I said, I'll give you, uh, yeah, give or take. So, you know, usually 
If I tell you 15 minutes, I'm allocating about half an hour. Okay. So three, three half hour session. But I think two and three is the same, how to promote social so using social media and how to use social media, how to promote using social media and then how, how to use social media for an event is the same, no? Yeah, it's very, um, very similar. But I guess like um, just the social media bit is more of like a... Um, Like the, I guess, like you said, like the flow of information. So, like, how to use the, just how to use the social media features as, like, if you are, um, operating it as a business account. Let's say, like, if they, if they wanted to promote the event later on using social media, then they'll have to create a social media page just for that event. Um, maybe that just give a brief outline of how to create. A business page let's say and then the event promotion then i'll outline deeper into how social media can be useful for event promotion especially fundraising campaigns or just raising awareness on um on a certain topic maybe okay no like i said uh, don't don't think don't think maybe mm -hmm. this is your pitch to get your project fundraised Mm. At the end of the day, this is a documented pitch to get your thing fundraised. And to showcase that this is a viable program for the children to learn. Mm -hmm. And you're the expert on it. And even though you have the translation, mm -hmm. you know, from, from Irene. Yeah you need to know the language well enough to make sure that she nailed it and make sure you also translate it as well. Mm. So it shows that you are the subject matter expert. I mean, we're doing it in English, so that way you can do the pitch. Mm. But at the end of the day, you know how to speak the language and you can deep dive on it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe then I will I'll send you if I could send you like a when I'm I'm gonna aim to send something to you by either the end of the day tomorrow or Monday morning. If you could take a look at it and make sure that everything is okay, if that's what you're that's what you're what you're looking for. Ooh, delivering the message on Saraswasti Day. That's pretty powerful, young lady. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is Saraswati tomorrow, I forgot. It's full power. Okay, good. Do it on Sunday. We review it. Monday's our first take where we'll yeah. shoot it and play around with it. But Friday's mm -hmm. when we're going to nail it. Okay, then Friday will be a different, a different It'll be thing. the same, but whatever you miss, I'm going to have you nail. Okay. Guess I'll find out on Monday. <laughs> Well, you're delivering it on Sarah Swasti, so Om Swasti is too, and wish you luck. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Thanks for your time. Okay, talk to you later. Yeah, all right, bye-bye. All right, say hello, Dad, and for me. I will do. All right, ciao. All right, bye-bye.